Are you a child of Abraham? Shalom, my name is Daniel Goldstein, and I'll be sharing with you a brief commentary on this week's Torah portion called Tazria, which is found in Leviticus chapters 12 and 13. Now, in the beginning of this week's Torah portion, in Leviticus chapter 12, we read about the subject of childbirth and the command to circumcise all male children on the eighth day. Now, the practice of circumcision did not begin here with the giving of the law. However, it was given to Abraham about 400 years earlier as a sign of the covenant that God made with Abraham. God promised to bless Abraham, to make a great nation, that kings would come out of this nation, that God himself would be the Lord of this nation, and that the Lord would give this nation the land of Canaan as an eternal possession, the land of Israel. So this was all part of the, the covenant that God was making with Abraham, and the sign of that covenant was circumcision. God gave circumcision at that time as a practice to Abraham, his household, and all of his descendants. Now, the nation of Israel has been practicing circumcision since the time of Abraham up until today. Every male child is still circumcised today. And so basically to be part of the, the covenant of God is to be part of this, this nation that's circumcised, the circumcised people, the Israelites, the Jewish people, even up till today. Now, is circumcision enough to be called the covenant people of God, to be called a, a child of Abraham? Because all the people who were part of the covenant were children of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Is it enough to be circumcised, to be part of this covenant, to be considered a child of Abraham? Well, I'm Jewish. I'm a descendant of Abraham through my ancestors. And I actually struggled with this question when I was in high school. I remember sitting in high school and one of my teachers was teaching about Judaism. And so I asked the question, I said, teacher, what does it mean to be a Jew? Is it simply to be a descendant of Abraham? Or is it to practice Judaism? And my teacher hesitated and said, well, Daniel, that's a good question. And to be honest, there's a bit of both because there are the physical descendants of Abraham that are all considered to be Israelites, Jews, and then there are those who practice Judaism, and some have converted to Judaism. So there are aspects, there are two aspects to the, the question of what does it mean to be a Jew? What does it mean to be a child of Abraham and part of that, that covenant? Well, I think the Bible answers this question in a clearer way. Going back to the, the Old Testament, the Tanakh, um, there are, there is clarification of what it means to be part of the circumcision people. Actually, in, in Deuteronomy, in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses speaks of uh, the circumcision of the heart twice in Deuteronomy chapters 10 and 30. And he was, he was challenging the children of Israel that beyond the physical circumcision, you need to be, you need to have a heart that is circumcised, that is completely devoted to loving the Lord and to living a life that is in agreement with his commandments. And so there's a spiritual circumcision, in a sense, that must accompany the, the mark of being called the people of God. So we see that in, in Deuteronomy. We see it again in Jeremiah chapter 4 in the prophets. And then we also see it in the New Testament. And I want to take a look at a couple of stories in the New Testament to clarify what does it mean to be part of the people of God, the covenant of God, to be called a child of Abraham. These are all kind of connected to, to what the promise God gave to Abraham. So in John chapter 8, we read um, about a scenario where there were some Jewish people who were following Yeshua, and they had believed on Yeshua. Now Yeshua was challenging them to go deeper. And in their conversation, Yeshua spoke these words. He said, I speak the things which I have seen with my father, Therefore, you also do the things which you heard from your father. And now they answered Yeshua and said to him, Abraham is our father. And Yeshua said to them, If you are Abraham's children, do the deeds of Abraham. And this is the important uh, point, I think, about this whole issue of being a circumcised people, being called a child of Abraham. It is, there is the reality of physical descendants of Abraham. I am one of those. 
But Yeshua was saying, if you're really a descendant of Abraham, then you need to live like Abraham. You need to do the deeds of Abraham. You need to have faith like Abraham. Faith must accompany the, the identity that you're proclaiming. Now we also read about this in, uh, in Luke chapter 19. Most of us know the story of Zacchaeus. He was a Jewish man. I'm sure he was circumcised on the eighth day, as all Jews are. So he was a descendant of Abraham. And he, he went to, to listen to Jesus. And as we understand, he was a shorter man, so he climbed a tree to see Jesus, to see Yeshua. And we later read about their conversation. And it says this, Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, half of my possessions I will give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will give back four times as much. And Yeshua said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. And this is interesting because Zacchaeus is already a physical descendant of Abraham, but Yeshua is declaring something in the spirit realm that because of Zacchaeus' faith in the Messiah, because of Zacchaeus' deeds of repentance and doing what is right, living a life that corresponded to his faith, Yeshua was saying, this is evidence that this man, too, is a true son of Abraham. And I believe this is what it really means to be part of God's covenant, to be a circumcised person, to be a child of Abraham. It is to believe in his Messiah and to live a life of faith with deeds that are connected to this life of faith. Now, as we see in all of the Bible, I believe, this includes Jews and Gentiles. Gentiles who believe in the Messiah and who live a life of faith. It doesn't matter if you are a literal physical descendant or not. The more important thing, I believe, that we see throughout the Bible is that we have a circumcised heart and we live our lives fully for the Lord. Now, I invite you to read my full commentary on this week's Torah portion at, on my website, jewelsofjudaism.com, under the title, Are You a Child of Abraham? Thank you for watching this video today. If you have enjoyed it, please like it on YouTube. Please feel free to share it with others via social media. And Shabbat Shalom.